Good morning. It's Monday, August 21st, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Faith, Birthing More Faith. And our scripture is 2 Kings, chapter 5. The king of Aram had great admiration for Naaman, the commander of his army, because through him the Lord had given Aram great victories. But though Naaman was a mighty warrior, he suffered from leprosy. At this time, Aramean raiders had invaded the land of Israel, and among their captives was a young girl who had been given to Naaman's wife as a maid. One day the girl said to her mistress, I wish my master would go to see the prophet in Samaria. He would heal him of his leprosy. So Naaman went with his horses and chariots and waited at the door of Elisha's house. But Elisha sent a messenger out to him with this message, Go and wash yourself seven times in the Jordan River. Then your skin will be restored and you will be healed of your leprosy. But Naaman became angry and stalked away. I thought he would certainly come out to meet me, he said. I expected him to wave his hand over the leprosy and call on the name of the Lord his God and heal me. Aren't the rivers of Damascus, the Abana, and far, far better than any of the rivers of Israel? Why shouldn't I wash in them and be healed? So Naaman turned and went away in a rage. But his officers tried to reason with him and said, Sir, if the prophet had told you to do something very difficult, wouldn't you have done it? So you should certainly obey him when he says simply, Go and wash and be cured. So Naaman went down to the Jordan River and dipped himself seven times as the man of God had instructed him. And his skin became as healthy as the skin of a young child, and he was healed. This is one of those favorites in Scripture because it has one of the most dramatic illustrations on so many levels of the purity and exceptional nature of faith. First, the servant girl who expresses love for her master who owns her. In compassion, she wishes aloud her master would go to Elisha to be healed. Naaman acts in faith that's clouded with expectations of a grand show of magical powers, but the prophet wouldn't even answer the door. He sends a servant to tell the sick man to exercise a more profound faith. Go dip in the Jordan River seven times. When Naaman's expectations are ignored, he gets angry, and in his rage he wants to take his ball and go home. But his servants convince him with logic. You wanted a grand show and you got a simple request. If it was some hard thing, you'd have done it. What's the little dip in the muddy waters? So Naaman caves and the healing evidence becomes history. I love this account of Naaman's healing because it's also our story of faith in Christ. Sin in the soul is immeasurably more damning than leprosy in the flesh. Leprosy can kill only a temporary skin and bone body. Sin in our immortal soul condemns our eternal being to a never-ending separation from God. We are all Naaman. Confronted with our sinful ways, we are faced with the decision to have faith in God by trusting in Christ's sacrifice on the cross for our sins, or remaining rotting in our chosen sinful ways for you today. You have a choice to make, much like Naaman. Apostle Matthew records the exact words of Jesus about this eternally significant choice. Matthew chapter 10. Don't be afraid of those who want to kill your body. They cannot touch your soul. Fear only God who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Hardly any advice needed on this, simply an invitation. Trust Christ now and be forever thankful for his gift of eternal life. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.